Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this video is about a new piece of information that Ancestry is giving us about our DNA matches and it's called the, the longest segment. I've got a blog article that goes into an explanation about both the longest segment but also a bit of background about centimorgans and segments. So if you're not entirely familiar with what centimorgans are, then I'll put a link in the description below to the blog article, which basically goes through a definition, an explanation as to the meaning of centimorgans and the meaning of segments in general. And then this article goes through what is the ancestry longest segment. And it uses a lot of screenshots, so I thought this video would be also helpful if I actually go to a video walkthrough. So I'm going to pull up a particular match of mine, Virginia, and we see Virginia here in the normal match list and we see I share DNA with Virginia with a total of 19 centimorgans combined across two different segments. And if we go into Virginia's match profile, we see the same information. Now, a few weeks ago, there was considerable excitement uh, on social media forums because on this screen here, there was an extra piece of information. In fact, there was two extra lines showing us the longer segment and something called unweighted DNA. And for whatever reason, Ancestry giveth and then they take it away. They've removed it from the display here. But it's still accessible and it's accessible from this particular link. So whether you click it from here or just on your DNA match list page, it's also a clickable link here, you're going to get a pop up. So I'm just going to click on this link and up comes a pop up. And this is giving me planetary information here about the number of different relationships that 19 centimorgans could represent. You also get this blurb here and this new information here. And what they're talking about here is these two lines here. So the second line here is a new addition, unweighted shared DNA. And then this final line here is the longer segment of 11 centimorgan in this particular example. I just want to concentrate on the longest segment and what that means. Well, I think the easiest way to show you is using something that Ancestry doesn't give us, which is a breakdown of the segments across our chromosomes using a chromosome browser. I chose this match Virginia for this demo for a reason, because a user by the same name has also tested on my heritage and is a match to me over on the MyHeritage site. And MyHeritage has a chromosome browser. And if you're interested in how I identify common matches between Ancestry and MyHeritage, I'll put a link in the description below to a fairly lengthy article on the blog site, basically four ways to find your Ancestry DNA matches over on MyHeritage. But over on MyHeritage, this is the MyHeritage DNA match list. Here is a match of the same name, and she has a quite unusual surname, so I'm confident that it's the same person. I'm going to I'm going to review her match page, and and this is what I want to show you, which is the chromosome browser. And what this display layout here is, it's a layout of 23 chromosomes. Sorry, it's a layout of the 22 chromosomes because my heritage doesn't analyze the sex chromosomes, right? And what my heritage are saying or showing me is that the shared DNA segments between myself and Virginia, there is a shared segment. There's one segment on chromosome number one, and then there's another shared segment, and they just show it in this purple on all the way down here on chromosome 17, the chromosome pair 17. So I'm going to hover over chromosome number one. What it's telling me is the, the genomic position, the start and the end position defines the number of centimorgans, right? As in terms of a unit. And the segment size, oops, the segment size there is, according to my heritage's measures, is 10.4 centimorgan. Okay. And then segment number two down here on chromosome number 17 is it's slightly larger, right? So from the start to the end position, there are 11.3 centimorgans, according to my heritage ca calculations and analysis. That is the slightly larger centimorgan. But come back to the ancestry DNA display. They're saying, yeah, the longest centimorgan is 11 centimorgan and ancestry does not show on the main display. It doesn't show decimal places. So visually, I just want to show you that this is what ancestry is telling you is that there are two segments. The longest is 11 centimorgan, leaving the remainder on the other segment. 
what my heritage is telling me is that the segment is on two different chromosomes. That is not something which ancestry is telling me. The segments could have been on the same chromosome. It could have been here and it could have been slightly over here. The ancestry display would stay the same because you've got two segments of a particular size. Okay, so again, when you've got two segments, you can infer that, well, if one is 11, if the longest segment is 11, then the remainder is over on the other segment. What you can't do is infer anything really with a match with more than two segments. So if I just cancel out of this and go to my highest match, who is my cousin Margaret, and I look at her breakdown. So Margaret is 433 cent Morgan shared with me across 20 seg segments. The longest segment is 45 cent Morgan, which is interesting, but I have no idea. I can't, I don't know how the rest, the remainder of the cent Morgans is dispersed across the other segments, other than none of the other segments are longer than 45 cent Morgan. Okay. So that's just a visual explanation of what the longest segment is. Once you've seen it in action, it's quite understandable. I'm now going to touch on unweighted shared DNA, but I would send you back to my blog, again, linked in, the, in below this main blog here called Ancestry Center Works and Segments, where I have a full section on raw unweighted DNA. It's this timber and weighted shared DNA, and that goes into an explanation as to why this number here, the 20 centimorgan, is slightly different, slightly higher than total shared DNA that Ancestry gives us in the main display. This is a little bit more stark with some other matches. So if I pick another match, so Patricia shares 20 centimorgan across one segment. Now click on the clickable link here and take a closer look. Here we have quite a discrepancy. Ancestry is telling me that the longest segment is 29 centimorgan. But if the longest segment is 29 centimorgan, how can our total DNA be 20 centimorgan? This is what caused considerable confusion, understandably, amongst Ancestry users when Ancestry just threw this information onto, they actually put it onto the match profile page, causing total confusion. And I think that's why they took it away from here. So they would stop getting as many support questions. But I mean, the information is still there and they have got an explanation as to what's going on here. Where is the explanation? Well, you kind of have to know that <laughs> you've got to expand it here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you very much the bare bones of the explanation. A simple one-on-one -on -one explanation is that when Ancestry processes your DNA, it determines that Patricia and I share a total of 29 centimorgans. That's its step one, which is what it's showing here. So the total shared DNA at step one is 29 centimorgan, and the longest segment, because it is only one segment, is also 29 centimorgan. But then there's a later step, and that later step, which Ancestry calls timber, goes and tries to filter out the noise and inaccurate data. And I'll go into it in more detail in the article, so I'll leave it there. But what timber is doing is it's chopping out or filtering out particular pieces of DNA that Ancestry has determined is probably not due to a recent common ancestor. What Ancestry have done with Patricia and myself is that they've determined that a piece of DNA of 8 centimorgan is to be filtered out by this timber algorithm as being not useful and not due to a, a most recent common ancestor. That leaves us with this total of 20 centimorgan. They are helpfully giving us with new information, which is what the centimorgan was before they applied the filter which was this 29 centimorgan, and the longest segment before they apply the filter, which happens to be the same because it's one segment. Right, so if you are interested in exploring more and actually seeing the details using a chromosome browser, take a look at my article, Four Ways to Use a Chromosome Browser with Ancestry DNA, and, and links to some video tutorials about actually getting your DNA from Ancestry over to MyHeritage and using the chromosome browser on MyHeritage. Now, uploading your DNA to MyHeritage is free. Using the chromosome browser requires a, you pay either a subscription 
to my heritage or to pay a one-time unlock fee of about 30 bucks. But if you're interested in, you know, delving deep into the weeds here of using a Chrome Asylum browser, that is an option. But there are other options too. I go into four different ways of doing it. Another option is Family Tree DNA. Another option, a free option, is GetMatch. So you don't have to pay an unlock fee with GetMatch. They do, they have a free version of a chromosome browser. And then there's also um, the DNA painter. Those aren't the only options, but they're the four that I go to in this article. Okay, hope that helps. And best of luck with your family research.